All right, this is the playback with the Moore's Bridge Scoro on a 424, four, yeah, 424.22. I only took a few seconds to figure out what to start with, but I had a lot of trouble with these first few. I was always off to one side or the other. And there's so many trails over here that it's just hard to keep everything straight. So I got off the trail. Went up and over, looking for the next trail. It's pretty thick, too. <laughs> yep, here we go. Hit a trail, come down, cross over here instead of going down that gooseneck. To the next trail. The GPS track's a little off here, but I'm on the trail. Running up. All right, that's two controls. The object is to get as many controls as possible in one hour for the Scoro. There were 20 possible controls. And I started out with the intention of, well, I'm just going to get them all. Here I actually go outside the park just a little bit where they've done some clear cutting. Yeah, easier to run. Crossing from trail to trail. You know, I'm looking at, looking at the uh, description boulders. I didn't see any boulders. It's hard to see on the map at my age. There we go. Okay. Now, get up the hill as best we can. Go from trail to trail. Once again, these bike trails just meander all over the side of this hill. Not very helpful to an orienteer. Crossing from trail to trail. Which trail am I on? Am I on the right trail? Yes. Here's a control. Okay, now the object is just to get to the road as quick as possible. Up the hill, through the brush. Ah, road. I think I was moving pretty fast judging by that video, but I'm not really. Control on the edge, back to the road and down. So far, I haven't skipped any. And at this point, I'm looking over there at uh, those others and thinking, well, I guess I'm going to have to save the ones up on the top of the map for much later. Down into the gully. And here, instead of crossing that deep uh, stream, I go up on the trail, go around. This took a little bit of time. And then down one of the river trails. I was going to drop to the lower one, but there's a group of campers down in there with horses. So I stayed on the upper till I got along in here, passed them somewhere, and then dropped down to the lower trail, which is not really maintained, but it was still good running. A little muddy in, in spots. And cross the stream into the green and look for this trash which turned out to be a blue barrel alright now what to do well don't think about it too long we're gonna go down the river instead of up I found an old road to get on it appears that it's not the one that I mapped so <laughs> I don't know where this one came from but it was good running I just ran right on down in here into the gas line Cross the gas line. I've got to cross another stream. Oh, too deep. We're gonna find a spot to cross, jump across. Oh, up to the control. All right, now what? Well, I may as well go on down to number 14. There's no trail here though. So I'm looking, looking, looking. I got on a high bit of high ground, went down that, but there's lots of privet hedge and brush of all different kinds and fallen trees and yeah it was pretty thick in here but I was moving along as best I could we're now down around 25 26 minutes so yeah I've almost spent half my time but I'm at the bottom of the map now bash through some more cross some logs Finally come out on the control. No problems. All right, now I can string together some trails. 
to get this next one. But while I'm doing that, I'm looking at the map, looking at my watch. Well, we're at 30 minutes. Am I going to get them all? It doesn't look like it. So I'm going to have to start skipping some. I cut across from trail to trail here, staying at the same contour line. There's a lot of trail running, which is, you know, I don't do my best on trails. I'm just not a fast runner anymore. 68 years old. I move the best I can. It looks like I'm going pretty fast in the video, but I'm not. All right, so now I'm starting to look, look, look. Where, where the heck am I? When do I turn off to the right to get number eight? And I'm looking for those gully, those ditches on the right, and then a bigger gully. And I finally decide I've gone far enough. Start bashing up through the woods. This one was hard to reach. You know, this was had been a good point for the air punch to be working, but it wasn't. So I had to reach down in there and punch the thing. All right, now I've pretty much decided that uh, 17 is not going to happen. So I go up the gas line, up the hill, uh, wiping the sweat off, get on this trail and go up. GPS track doesn't really follow the trail very well, but yeah, I'm on that trail, dodging the mud. And we turn here back to the northeast on this trail and yeah I'm not gonna get 17 that's not gonna happen because we are now at almost 40 minutes so yeah what I've got 10 minutes or 20 minutes to get back 17 is not gonna happen and then I'm thinking well after I get 20 11 am I gonna get the next one down to the right I don't think so now this control, I come out on the road clearing, but I think they hung this one on the wrong trail junction. So yeah, whatever, didn't matter. So now I'm thinking 11, then 9, then 13? No. Uh, we're at 43 minutes. We're just going to get 11. Skip 9. So that makes 2 I've skipped. We're heading for 13 bashing through, going downhill. I noticed there's two cairns down there at 13, so it would be good if I go to the correct one. So I think I'm in the right re-entrant. I need to climb up on that little tiny spur there and drop down. Should be wrenching on the right and right into, yep, there it is. Now up, we're gonna go on the spur between the two gullies which makes sense, and then hit that trail. You can never get up there. Run along the trail, wiping the sweat off again. It was hot, mid 80s, I think, by the time we were done with this meet. And then off the trail, up the spur, looking for the top of the spur all the time so that I don't stray too far. And then the boulder. And you know, I punched, I went right across that trail and missed seeing it, had to turn around and come back and then get on the trail again. <laughs> oh well. And now I'm trying to decide, well, uh, I've got eight minutes, seven minutes to get back. <sighs> I veer off, heading for the other trail, trying to contour as much as possible so I'm not going up and down. And then down to this number 10. That's like an old uh, cemetery there, past the old shed, up the top of the hill. The 10 was closer to the trail than I thought, but whatever. And then on down, and I realized at this point, 54, 55 minutes, five minutes left, I think I'll just go cut across to three, leave off that one down on the stream, and go up to the parking lot. So yeah, I've got four minutes left. All I need to do is climb this hill to the parking lot, punch that control, go across to the finish. There we go. Through the parking lot, right to the finish line. Oh. And then down. 